All right, so um, I'll tell a story about a little bit of, about my childhood. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way um, back until like I was a little kid. I'll probably see that video for another time, but I'll probably, I'm just going to get into this video about like how I got into like chilling with like Asian gangs and stuff like that. Um, for my first videos, the jail help, the jail story videos, um, you know, I realized I separated into different parts depending on like the days I was doing. I, I did a whole series for the jail series in like three days. Um, and each day, uh, I filmed it at three different locations in my pad. So starting off, I'm actually doing this in my hallway. It kind of looks like I'm on my toilet right now, but I'm not. I'm just I'm doing it in my hallway. I just wanted to, um, uh, pay homage to, um, my man Nipsey right here. So, how I got involved in Asian gangs. So around freshman year, you know, I started like being like a, a bad kid. Um, started not listening to my parents and I started going out with like the older kids. I was a freshman, I started going out with seniors, started like ditching school and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, man, I was ditching school way too much. I was hanging around with the wrong people. And my fucking parents, they like, they got fed up, you know, because, you know, uh, they would have, have to go to like my school. I went to Arcadia High for freshman year, which is like a really like posh neighborhood. Um, yeah, and they kept on getting called down because I kept on missing school. Or I was like, you know, getting into trouble and stuff like that. Um, so one day they, they got fed up. And, you know, they got tired of me hanging around with, like, people from, like, other cities, like, the more hood cities, like, San Gabriel and Rosemead. Um, I'm not going to really go into how I got, uh, started ch chilling with people that, that lived over there. Well, actually, there was some guy that came over to, um, he got transferred from that area to Arcadia High, and I started just kicking with him, and I eventually just, like, Sometimes I would just run away from home and like, you know, just chill over at the pad and shit. Um, and one day, like, they had to actually hunt me down and find me and shit, actually take me back home. And I guess, you know, they didn't want me in that, in the environment, in those cities, you know. So one day they told me that um, I was going to go see our the counselor again, which was like routine. And then one day they fucking uh, decided just to fucking like, just drive me to my fucking grandparents house in Bellflower and the reason why they did that is because they basically just migrated my, our whole entire life to basically m touch to basically settle down at my um my grandparents house for a while until they actually like moved out to fucking Diamond Bar right so they fucking took me out of the whole environment I didn't say goodbye to any of my friends I couldn't you know there wasn't any cell phones back then and then, uh, yeah, they, and they basically did all that shit for me, looking at hindsight, you know. So, long story short, I actually, we moved to Diamond Bar. But, um, you know, what they didn't realize is fucking Diamond Bar was fucking the most boringest city in the world. Fucking Arcadia High, at least like for like lunchtime and shit, you can actually go out like, I think the seniors can go out for lunch and then I would usually just ditch and go to like the mall and go eat with them and shit. But in Diamond Bar, man, everybody was fucking on. Um, they had to stay inside Diamond Bar, even the seniors too. And the people were there, man, no offense to people that live in Diamond Bar, man, but this shit was fucking boring as fuck, man. There wasn't any hot girls. And the guys were like squares and shit. So basically, it was all squares. And then I wasn't really feeling that environment at all, man. Um, it was mostly all Korean. I have nothing against Korean people. Korean people are dope. But, um, you know, I resonated more with the Chinese, Chinese group because I'm Chinese, you know? There was only one small facet of Chinese kids in, at high school, which were fucking gang members and shit. So basically, kind of, my parents' plan fucking backfired and shit. So I started kicking in with the gang members. You know, at first I didn't, you know, I was just hanging out around with them, you know? But then, you know, uh, you know, you are the average of the people you hang around with, right? So, um, I would go out with them. You know, my, my parents locked me in, in our new house for like 
the longest time, maybe like a few months, they wouldn't let me out. Now, fuck, I honestly, I went fucking crazy in there. I fucking like, fuck, started, started talking to myself, started fucking punching holes in the walls and shit. You know, I felt like it was locked up. And, you know, I guess, I guess I was just being a spoiled little brat. You know, and I think there was, I don't know, better ways for them to like. Um, I don't know, like, like school me and shit. Uh, instead of just like moving my ass away, a whole family away, just and just locking up, locking me up in my room. But you know, the past is the past. Um, but yeah, I started kick, kick, hanging out with, with that group, you know, and then um, that group met. You know, if you're if you're around gangs and shit, you're gonna have gangs uh, friends that are from other gangs. So, you know, they, they had fucking friends that are from, like, um, Monterey Park, San Gabriel, the Rosemead and shit. Like, the epicenter for fucking, like, Asian Chinese gangs back in the day, you know? So, I met up with that crowd. So, how I started hanging around with the, the people that, that hung around, like, Monterey Park, San Gabriel, the, the more hood areas and shit. I remember a fucking one day... Um, we went to go back up, uh, some homies and shit because we got in a fucking, um, my homies got, my homie got into some shit at like one of those, those internet cafes. And then I think, um, that group jumped, tried to jump my homie and shit. So we fucking, we called them out, you know, uh, my dime bar friends and my like Monterey Park friends. We met up in like a fucking parking lot and like rolling the heights. And then we were supposed to go talk, you know? So we all met up in a parking lot and we were fucking deep. We were a couple of, we were a couple cars deep, you know? And then surprisingly, you know, those, those fools came out. And then, but they, they weren't expecting all of us, you know? You know, when that guy came out, I think he was surprised to see us and shit. And he talked to one of my friends. He was like, man, I wanna, hey, where's your leader at? I wanna speak to your leader, you know? There's no, there's another word for that, but I'm not gonna get into that. But she said, I want to speak to your leader, and my and my, my boy that I knew, he's like, man, my fucking leader's not gonna come out for you. And then we, you know, we all started fucking uh, rushing them and shit. And what's the big rumble? A long story short, we fucked them up. Um, but yeah, um, uh, you know, some a lot of my friends, my my newer friends that I met that day from like the Monterey Park areas and shit, they were kind of clown on me, make fun of me and shit because. At the end of the rumble and shit, I was just standing around, you know, um, because uh, because you know I I kind of wanted to make new friends and shit, so I didn't even go back to my old homies and shit. I decided to hang around the vicinity of like the newer homies and shit. And then when the fucking rumble was finishing up, he's like, "Man, what are you doing, man? Get in the car, get in the car and shit." Because I was just standing around, you know. They thought I was just fucking being clueless and shit, but honestly, I just wanted to make new friends. So my plan worked, and they were like, come on, let's get in the car, let's get in the car. So a guy in his fucking car, and then we ended up chasing some guy. I remember one of my uh, new homies that I met was you know, hanging outside the fucking car with a baseball bat, trying to fucking bash the fucking cars that was speeding away. And then after, yeah, we went up, we, I separated with my, uh, my older friends, and then um, we went to like um, a cafe in uh, around the San Gabriel area to basically congregate, and we just talking about um you know the rumble and stuff like that who got who and like what happened and shit so yeah it was just me and in front of all these new people and shit and i was like oh yeah my, my plan worked you know <sighs> yeah but um that's how i got involved um with that particular group and um i don't want to make my videos too long so I'm gonna go ahead and end it like that, and I'll go more into detail about um, the life I lived when I hang, when I hung around that that new group. Um, you know the trouble I got into, you know, shit like that. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, I'll tell you about my whole experience, my thoughts, um, my opinions. You know why. I, decided to get get out of that life and shit and I was still a knucklehead and shit afterwards and shit but I kind of dive into like you know why you know that life wasn't for me um and you know it, it stems it stems from like a lot of what happened in my childhood but I'll, I'll dive into that 
in my next video so you'll see so yeah stay tuned um lesson for this video yeah man if you're don't be a troublemaker in school i mean man if if your parents brought you to a good school you should stay in school man and i mean if you're a parent yourself um communicate with your kids uh, be a cool parent man you know what i'm saying um, if you're too hard on your kids and shit, they'll probably just uh, be a rebel and shit. So make sure communication is key. Make sure that they look at you like a cool mom or a cool dad. Uh, don't be too hard, but just make sure you communicate. I think I've had better communication with my parents and shit. Um, things would have been different. So so yeah, so stay in stay in school and communicate with your your parents. Communicate with your with your kids. All right, stay tuned.